This video is intended purely to communicate information in accordance with the right of free speech. Any advice given is a suggestion and anyone seeking such advice should consult a competent professional. All statements made in this video are my own honest opinion and they do not represent any other person or body. As such, sharing matters covered in this video is in public interest. Fancy meeting you here in this little old place. I'm Tish and this is Echo Echo. Oh, I have not considered my background. I do apologize. Minnie just went down the stairs like a slippery dip. Is that what people call them? Do people call slippery slides? Slip, slip. You know what I'm talking about? We call it sometimes in Australia a slippery dip. There's no reason for it. Is there ever a reason for anything in Australia? Hello to Frida. Frida? <laughs> yeah, she's a model. <laughs> um, <laughs> a friend of the channel, Harper, uh, sent us a care package and Frida was the model. So Harper has um, a small business, I think. I think it's a small business. Um, I do not know what is being crunched on right now. Uh, I need to not move my mic around because I have – it came out. The cord came out. Yes, so Harper has crochet, that uh, makes crochet items, and they sent a care package of some things that Murphy probably can't wear because he's an idiot. Sorry, buddy. It's true. It's true. He's an idiot. Because yeah. um, he chews everything and he's young. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we will see what happens. Um, he can't wear the, the items. So Frida has been chosen because Frida's weight stays steady um, and she's going to be a model. She's going to be a model, yeah, uh, for the for the coats. And they're really cool because they've got like three different bottoms. So one of them is like all like all stitched all the way down. One has like a V, a V, and another one has like on other dog jumpers they have like a Velcro um like sometimes I have a Velcro strap or whatever, and it's similar to that, but um, it's like done with buttons instead of Velcro. Um, yeah, so exciting. So, yeah, I will link Harper's Instagram. Okay, so we are going to do a quick one because it's late and I haven't made a video this week. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have been going live on a Thursday. We've got our athletics carnival tomorrow, so I'm getting ready with the green. I've got – I'm going to make some – Pom poms and some hair things. So, because I love my green team, that's whenever I go to a new school, that's all I ask. I need to be in the green team. For Americans, I don't know if you have, uh, like we call them houses because they are like it is like Harry Potter, and um, yeah, they represent like you be in a house from like I've been in the greenhouse since I was in primary school, and so whenever I go to somewhere new. I asked to be in the greenhouse. Um, one time that went badly on me. Uh, I'll tell that story another time. Anyway, it's uh, we have our track meet or whatever for that, but our whole school goes to the track meet. It's weird. All right, so we are doing a video on, look, Erin, I'm saying thank you to the heavens. For the goddess that is Erin Bees because watching her destroy Kylie Stevenson from Anagic was oh delishy wishy. Oh anyone who knows Rolly, he does he's a great YouTuber, Rolly. Yes. It was a delicious mm, tasty. <laughs> Learned a lot from her. From that. I haven't seen that live. I actually want to respond to it because I got some things to say. I got some things to say about it. Which I have already said. Minnie, what are you doing? This is this is from Feminist Trash, right? I am adding stuff to it um, because it got stained. I couldn't get the stains out. So I've added the, the everything to it. Um, I am an affiliate with uh, Feminist Trash, and this is one of their shirts. It's a little big now. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you lay down? I just hit. Um, also... 
I guess it's the longest intro. Like, I have long intros. I'm sorry. Skip to whatever to get to the, the thing. Thank you to anyone who's listening to me. I appreciate you. Um, but I've been on Ozempic for t- two years, two and a half years, and I weighed myself. So, uh, it's like, trigger warning, talking about weight. Um, weighed myself yesterday, and I am under 80 kilograms, which is – which I haven't done in – at least over 10 years. So I am very happy with that. And I didn't lose it too quickly, so I haven't got too much of an ozempic face. The ozempic face is just a weight loss face. All right. Okay, so because I was going somewhere with the Neelola, with the, I was going somewhere with the Kylie conversation because Erin had my back on that one. Everybody else has been getting these cease and desist from Neelo Life. I've already reacted to Nilo Life, it is true, but uh, we need a new video. <laughs> so, uh, P.S., we are roasting this weekend. Uh, TBD. So, TBD on what we're doing. We are working on, we're, we're going to actually probably have two roasts in a row because we really want to get this second one done. And it is going to be a Monate timeline. I'm very excited about it. So, all of the controversies of Monate in one place so very excited especially after the clown town's killer video on it i mean how lucky am i right that my youtube besties are such bloody legends right right uh so we've got eric allen here he makes me want to vomit every time he says nilo fam it's unseemly i hate it Girls are real weird at the moment. Frida, Frida's been like licking everybody. Um, P.S. The the boys had a bit of a touch up the other day, so um, and Will was just like latched on. I could not get him off. It was again we got squished commotion. Um, yeah, but they're friends again now. Mm. Um, Mabel, yeah. Oh, let's get on with the video. Okay, so Eric Allen is one of the founders of Nilo Life. However, he was one of – he was a top distributor, I think, in Transact slash Finmore. Seemed to know a lot more than anybody else. Claimed he didn't. Anyway, he is a white saviour. He talks about God being a Christian all the time, even though he's involved in a scam, in my opinion. And, yeah, he's just all around – he is, in my opinion, one of the slimiest men in MLM. And that's a big call, right? Taylor Kirby, come on. Um, yeah, he just is, ugh, the slickness, you know, like just, ugh, he look, you know, like it slides straight off him because he's just so slimy. Anyway, this is rather new. Uh, yeah, let's see what he has to say. I need a short one because I do not want to be here forever. Just want to put something out. <laughs> Happy Friday from America, Nilo Life. Oh. Hey, stop it, please. Wait, Minnie. I I just wasn't ready for it. I I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that. You know, you just live your life trying to get through and just be a good person. And then this is who is successful in making money in life. Oh, God. Excuse me while I have an existential crisis. All right. I'm still having an existential crisis, but I'm just going to press play. Oh, God, I can't stand him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Family, it's Eric. Hope you are having an amazing day, afternoon, morning. You're part of the world. Now, here in America, it's a really important, sometimes emotional for a lot of families. Tread carefully. Tread carefully. Let's not be using Memorial Day for anything else than what it is. Okay. Mm, okay, let's see what he's going to say. He, he just has a way of, like, foot and mouth. Like, he just, yeah. Memorial Day weekend, those are our 
military service members who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country and the freedoms we have. So I want everybody to enjoy your Memorial Day. I'm grateful for all of you who are families and members who served and gave the ultimate sacrifice. Just the members of your MLM? Just them? Mm, okay. So a few things are more important uh, in my mind than that. So I'm um, grateful for that. Uh, 46 seconds in. Yep. Yep. Real grateful. Well done. Friends, here we are. You know, we're going, just wrapping up our uh, sixth week um, in pre-launch. Um, we have been... Oh, I'm sorry. What? You're still in pre-launch? No. You're operating as a as a company. You've launched. You're just saying pre-launch. So then it's not suspicious that you don't have customers other than your distributors, right? Is that it? You're going to send me a cease and desist? Yeah? It's just been a tornado, a, a wonderful, beautiful, chaotic. It has been a tornado. You know, those weather um, occurrences that ruin lives. Perfect, perfect metaphor, Eric. A tornado, tsunami, hurricane of activity. How interesting that you would choose tsunami and hurricane as well. I don't know uh, if you understand what the connotation of those things are. I, I, in fact, I'm going to say that you don't understand, that maybe you're not very smart, just my opinion. Um because they're generally negative things, very negative things. So it's accurate, but I don't think that's what you would like it to be, you know? I hope you're noticing constant and never-ending improvement. Um, we're always adding, um, enhancing things in the digital office. Definitely play around with that. Um, kind of new marketing materials, listening to your feedback. And we're getting to a point where... Um, it, well, maybe not call it a tipping point, maybe a pre-launch tipping point. You know, the last few days, it's so exciting, you know, as we're gauging the metrics, you know, Israel, Lebanon, Sweden. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Did you just, hang on, what time is it? Did you just fucking say Israel? You're recruiting in Israel. Isn't that just the worst? Um, Sorry, this is, this should go at the beginning should have gone at the beginning because it is never far from my mind that the, the Palestinian people are undergoing a genocide being conducted by Israel and may and America and Australia and the UK and anyone who is supporting them is complicit. Um, and I hope that they swing from the gallows like the war criminals who did in World, World War II. I hope that happens. I am a person who does not believe in the death penalty. But I I think that war crimes, like I don't believe in the death penalty for murder, like a one-on-one -on -one murder, right? I'm going to I'm going to waive my objection for war crimes, especially what they're doing to the Palestinian people. Um I it, it just makes me ache with feeling useless that I can't do more and I have studied World War II for so long because I just was obsessed with how it could have happened how did this happen how did this happen and I didn't think I didn't foresee it happening in my lifetime and I am glad that I have spoken out for it from the day it happened. I haven't, I haven't wavered. And the only thing that, uh, that breaks my heart and makes me feel more useless is that white women like me are part of the problem. And they are, they have blood on their hands, which means I have blood on my hands. So I'm going to scream about it. I'm going to shout about it. So this motherfucker gloating about recruiting in fucking Israel, go fuck yourself. And it's Randy who's there. Randy can go fuck himself as well. 
all eyes on Rafa. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. And it will be. Uh, parts of Asia, uh, certainly USA, Canada, even Latin America is uh, getting some growth. Australia, so, um, and Africa. I guess the You're getting growth in Latin America? Oh, who is taking advantage of people in Latin America and Africa? Fuck all the way off. Oh, this company. The world, right? It's just so exciting to see uh, different leaders and visionaries catching the vision all over the world. And, you know, ultimately with Neo Life, our, our goal is to galvanize humanity. It's bringing good people together for a worthy ideal. And, you know, that ideal can be variegated. Some want to come in and make money. Certainly right now, that's, you know, it's a great time to bring in entrepreneurs, visionaries. Who Eric, who joins an MLM not wanting to make money? Who is that? Oh, is it you? I bet you it's just you. You just joined for the impact, right? Ugh. Fuck off. Like, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm so angry. I'm not really sorry. I'm just trying to justify, like, this is why I'm so angry. Fuck this guy. I want to be, you know, at the right place for their voice to matter and help us co-create the culture that we we have to have in order to be sustainable. Others, you know, they just feel like they're a part of the community. I think we discount a lot of people, you know, get, they get beat up in so many other areas of life that, you know, just being around the campfire, positive, uplifting people um, is immeasurable. So, you know, I'll always be, I'm always cautious, you know, uh, not to assume everybody that's coming in, even as an affiliate, just wants to make a boatload of money. Um, and we, we welcome you. We celebrate you wherever you're at in this journey, however you're choosing to participate. I want, what? No one joins an MLM just for community. Why would they? It is meant to be a money-making, a side hustle, a job, a way of earning money. To talk about anything else is ignorant, but you're ignorant and not very smart. So, uh, what else? Uh, we, we next Tuesday we're going to debut our first thought leader. We've got tons of content. We're excited to add to our library. And then all you international rock stars, I know, uh, just chomping at the bit. The life trade that's been just endless programming, testing. Um, integrations, all those good things, but we, we want to make sure that obviously it's compliant and it's safe and secure. So, um, I'm going to encourage anyone in any other country, like I'm going to be reporting them in Australia, if they are using that here, no fucking way is this a safe thing. Like, no. Eric, no. So the goal here is in, um, we said by June 1st, we're running hard to meet that goal. And then you know, we'll continue to improve and, and evolve. That's uh, that's the beauty of everything. Even our life shops, one week old, are already, you know, probably 5X number of products we would have. We have more products. We have more services coming. We want to scale that internationally. We want to eventually have dozens, hundreds, thousands of life trips, you know, more and more content and on and on and on. So, you know what? What we're, what we're trying to do a better job um, on the corporate side is really helping you with the messaging, right? I mean, because it's not just this over here. It's not just this over here. You step back and say, wow, hopefully you're saying, wow. This really enhances any part of a well-rounded human existence, right? I mean, we're not just a travel company. We're not just a nutritional company. We're not just an... No, you're none of those things. You're a, you're a scam. You're frauds. You're charlatans. You're snake oil salesmen. You specifically are a white savior as well. And uh, you're running a pyramid scheme with... A bunch of scammers at the top of your company like Randy. Yeah? That's what you are. You're not any of those other things. Investment and trading company. Um, we're not just an online learning community. You're it's, not that. It's like all the above. Let's step back and... You're not a learning community at all. You, those other things, yeah, you have a shop that sells stuff and you sell travel. But you're definitely not a learning community. What are you going to learn from Randy? Randy, how to put on a shitty, the shittiest, like, presentation ever, where beside your presentation, you got some doofus who has to keep the iPad alive because he hasn't set the, because he doesn't know how to set up his iPad to not power down in the middle of the fucking presentation. Yeah, real great training, Eric, fucking tip top. You know, I, I, I'm a big fan of studying the trends, you know, they, as people say, as successful people obviously say the trends are our friends. Well, there's a trend that's unfolded the last five, ten years that... I'm sorry, successful people say trends are our friend? 
<laughs> who? I'm going to need a source on that one, mate. Can Can you tell me who? Did you see it on Pinterest? Are you fucking kidding? What a joke. This man is a joke. Um, it, it's basically like a second world economy in its own right. It's called the subscription economy. And it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I mean, how many have gym membership subscriptions? How many have app subscriptions? Whether it's Uber. Yeah, okay. So this is a false equivalence fallacy that we're doing here. You see, um, the subscriptions that I have, in fact, I have to talk to Adobe because they took too much of my money. Um, it looks like they charged me twice for something. So I'm going to be talking to them about that subscription. So, But that subscription gives, gives me unlimited time with Photoshop, right, which I use for thumbnails as well as like a bunch of other things. Um, so it's a good deal. Love it. I don't have to pay up front. I can cancel any time. And I don't have to do anything else to have that subscription. It's a service I pay for and then I get it and that's it. I don't have to recruit anybody to get that subscription. I, I don't have to do anything else. It's a service. So what you're talking about isn't relative to what you're saying because an MLM is different. So it's not the same. And this is um, definitely targeted at those older participants in the company because there are a lot who Randy brought in because Randy has no morals and he doesn't care who he uh, rips off. People who are on a fixed income with probably, you know, cashed out 401ks and he's going to get them to lose all their money in this, in my opinion. So, you know... Um, Using this and saying it's the same is a way of trying to manipulate them and it's gross and disgusting and I can see right through through this a very slimy, transparent man. Uber, whether it's Audible, you have Amazon Prime, you have Costco, you have Sam's Club, you have Uber, you have DoorDash, you have Instacart. Over you twice, have, dude. On and on and on and on, these endless Uber? membership subscriptions and um, that particular economy, the subscription economy, just in America is projected – to grow over 1.5 to over 1.5 trillion dollars in just the next yeah for just normal companies not for MLMs you you don't represent a stake in that you are not the same you know the old sesame street thing one of these things is not like the other which one is it did i just make that up? Did, did i just make that up am i am i crazy like of course i am but I am sure I can remember a song that's like one of these things is not like the other. I'm, I'm still in an existential crisis. Um, yeah, you're not the same. The piece of the pie that you think is coming, the piece of the pie, um, that's going to legitimate business. That's not you. That doesn't include you. Okay? So it's disgusting that you are telling people this because I am sure that you know that. I'm sure you do. But you don't give a fuck either because you don't have morals. Or you wouldn't have started an MLM and been working in one for so long. Hmm. Two to three years. Okay, so what if, what if we can offer households across the world a membership that enhances every area of a well-balanced life? That often includes, number one, relationships. Well, this is all about relationship marketing. How are you going to improve relationships? <laughs> you, you're going to improve relationships. Okay. Um, that's, you can't sell that either. That's not, that's not a product you can sell. Weird. Marketing and building culture. Number two, your health and well-being. How about your financial well-being? How about your sense of purpose, your sense of community, the ability to continue to grow personally and professionally. And that's the ultimate goal is to have a monthly membership that people come in and they actually use it. They actually use this membership. We don't, I'm not a fan of getting people into a membership and then they just forget about it. And that's quite truthfully, if, if you read a book called The Member Economy, it talks about the growing revenue within the membership-based economy. But sometimes the goal of companies, a big goal is what they would assume breakage where people are paying a membership and never use it. 
Wow, you are groundbreaking, Eric. Not a big fan of people who have subscriptions they don't use. Um, so then would it surprise you that a lot of people do use their subscriptions? And the way he said, what do you do? There's this book. Like, he, like he's just, you know, sharing. Oh, I'm sharing this knowledge about this book. It's just to push his own agenda. Of course, because he's a scam. We do a membership, the Peloton membership, the, you know, the Balloon Club membership, the Cable membership, the Netflix membership. It's like, we don't really care if you use it. Well, ours is different. We, we want people to be... Yeah, because you're in an MLM. You do want people to use your membership. Not really, though. It, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know. But they have to pay the membership, right? And then you're going to try and push them to use the – to be a customer. You've got to be a product of the product. you got to go on the trips. You've got to use the, use the discounts, yeah? Because then if they're not actually pushing that side of the subscription, then they can't sell the subscription, do you know? Like they would look like a hypocrite if they weren't – using it yeah but please tell us how does that work with customers right because you don't have any yet except for the distributors who that's all you really want from them you know celebrating all the value they're getting within their lifestyle membership all the parts and in the people the experiences the memories that they're creating and those that you know are seeking more prosperity and they want to get out and share i mean it's a very simple business let's be honest it's it's not always easy because you, you know you have to tolerate some ignorance from people that they just don't get it they don't understand entrepreneurship they don't understand oh i understand um, entrepreneurship because you are not an entrepreneur i mean sort of because he's finally launched his own company right sort of but you, the company you launched is not groundbreaking there are travel discount companies. There are crypto companies. There are health and wellness companies. So you're not really bringing anything new to the game, right? Um, people who are in MLMs are not entrepreneurs. They're salespeople. So, yeah, we understand entrepreneurship. You don't understand entrepreneurship. And you also don't really like when people – don't talk about you in glowing terms or your company in glowing terms. In fact, you send them cease and desist so they stop saying things like that. Uh, but has it worked? No, we're still talking about you. Okay? Because you're just some joker who couldn't make it work at Finmore because of education and you're still trying to push past that. But here we are. Hello. Hi, scammer. Leverage income. They look at life through a certain lens. and Anything different from that lens is kind of a threat or uncomfortable. And that, it is what it is. So um, that's the hardest part because you're going to have to face some rejection. Or is this another one of those things? Or I tried one of these things 10 years ago. I lost my shirt, lost my house, lost my wife. You know, we've heard it all. Have you? Sounded like it, you didn't really take it that seriously if you just sound a little bit like a joke. Is it a joke to you that somebody lost their house, lost their family? For somebody who starts off their fucking lives with, hey fam, would have thought that that wouldn't maybe affect you, right? Minnie, can you stop that? Minnie, leave her alone. Minnie, leave her alone, please. Minnie, stop. I'm trying to make, make, make free date, like lactate, I think. Bizarre sentence, I know. Um, summary. Uh, in conclusion, fuck this guy. Thank you. Um, but I, I would challenge uh, a lot of you because I, I hear it every day. I wish there was more minutes in the day. Eric, I, I have to make this work. Eric, I, I have to start making money. And for a lot of people, it's not making ridiculous money. It's like, I can make an extra 300, 500,000 bucks a month in addition to all the savings. Oh, 300,000. Like, do you want to hang on? Let's hear that again. Start making money. And for a lot of people, it's not making ridiculous money it's like if i can make an extra 300 500 thousand bucks a month yeah it sounded like you're saying 300 to 500 thousand bucks a month um guess what that's ridiculously hard that's that's a miracle for people to make that that that's a lot of money to make in an mlm because 99 percent of people don't make any money or lose it so that's according to the ftc and other studies 
So you can talk about, oh, well, you know, that's fine. If we're not trying to make a quick buck here. It's just to make a little bit of side hustle income. No, that's hard. That's harder. Hard enough. That's just as hard. Yeah? In addition to all the savings of value I uh, uh, experienced from my membership, I mean, that would be life-changing for me. And then I, I look back and I'm like, well, how many people have you shared it? I'm sorry, that would be life-changing for you. No, you're a multimillionaire. With today, this week, how many people have you gotten into a live VIP overview? How many people have you sat down, taken them through your life travel portal and your digital office and your website and all the value? Um, you know, and, and the answer, quite honestly, is, well, not many. And, you know. Are you nervous? Why are you nervous? He's like, he's shaking his leg. You can see him. He's got like a shake down the bottom. So he's like, he's, he's nervous right now. There's some sort of hesitancy in what he's saying. Um, are you about to shit on people for trying their hardest? How many people have you introduced this to? Probably a lot. How fucking dare you assume that people are not showing other people the opportunity? Because I bet they are, and they're getting shut down because it sounds like a scam. Because it is a scam. That's why they're getting shut down. And they could also be getting shut down, your salespeople, because they Google Neil Life and a bunch of anti-MLM pops up. Minnie, will you leave her alone? The noise was like driving me nuts. It was, it was just the worst noise. Yeah. Um, in conclusion, fuck this guy. <laughs> That's good. I wish I could name my video that, but I cannot. Or oh, the algorithm will punish me. But fuck this guy. That um, that's what really differentiates kind of the the winners that are achieving and realizing their hopes and dreams, and those that are not. I mean, the winners are just mastering the mundane. They're sharing with two, three new people a day. Oh, I bet they're not. I bet they're sharing with way more than that to get one or two people, right? How dare he say shit like this? And that's maybe why he's nervous because he is, this is him trying to be a tough guy. Randy, this wouldn't worry Randy. Randy's fucking ruthless. He don't care. He does not give a shit. This man, I think, wants to be liked by everybody, and that's why he's sending cease and desist because we don't like him, and he doesn't like that. He likes being liked, obviously, you know. I He is conventionally attractive. I don't find him attractive because he's a fucking scumbag, and it makes him ugly. Gross. But he's been told very many times in his life that he's attractive, you know. So people like that. Alone, please. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Go to bed. Um, I don't think I'm going to get my pom-poms made. I'm only on pom-pom number one. And it's 10 o'clock. I can't go to sleep late tonight. Cause... What am I going to do? Um, I might have to give up on this. All right. Um, in conclusion, fuck this guy. I think I will uh, maybe. Yeah, just that, like, Maybe he's nervous about giving this feedback because he is like wants to be, you know, loved by everybody. But I don't love you. Thanks. And the truth is good enough. Or, you know, the visionaries, the pioneers are like, man, this is only six weeks old. And everything's here. I want to get in now before it's six years old. And then others are like, well, I'll at least try that membership out for a couple months. And, and we haven't, we, we've hardly had anybody that's come in as a, just a lifestyle member that's got a refund. We do love customers. And others are like, well, I'll at least try that membership out for a couple months. And, and we haven't, we, we've hardly had anybody that's come in as a, just a lifestyle member that's got a refund. We do love customers here. But the point is. Do you like customers here? And so some people have got a refund. Is that what I'm hearing? Hmm. I wonder what for. Curious. Speaking to you, if you are hungry, if you are motivated, if, you know, you want something different, you want the rest of this year to be a heck of a lot better than it was last year, the year before, the last five years, last 10 years, and you're going to have to be willing to do things that most people aren't willing to do. And what is kind of crazy to me is we're not asking you to take up arms. We're not asking you to make massive sacrifices. How dare he? Again. 
You've got to do things that people are not prepared to do. Fuck off. Because everybody who's in an MLM works hard to try and make it work because they are manipulated by dickheads like you saying that they can earn three to five hundred dollars and more by fucking like Randy. Randy. I hope everybody hears that every time they hear the word Randy because that's my that's gonna be my legacy. If that's my legacy, I will be <laughs> stairs in accident, existential dread yet again. Um, yeah. Um, I just can't, I can believe it, but to be accusing people of not, like, working hard is gross. And it's not true. And the people are going to... They're going to internalize it and they're going to say, oh, I do need to work harder. And it's just a further manipulation technique. So, yeah. you know what my response is to <laughs> this guy. We're just asking you to get excited, have fun, plug in, and just share. And if you just share with enough people, a great message delivered long enough, someone's going to fall upon the right ears. So that would be my message for today, throughout the weekend. You're going to be with friends, family, loved ones, man. Um, those families that have lost loved ones, like I know... Uh, love on them. That can be a difficult time this time of year. Um, but hopefully this is one of those unique value propositions where you're not embarrassed to tell your friends, your family, people that you're having barbecue with, watching the race with, hanging out with here in America and everyone outside the rest of the world. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but you know, it's just such a great time to get out now. So you are suggesting to recruit and prospect using Memorial Day gatherings. That's what I'm hearing. I would like to suggest Erin watches this, but it may make her truly too angry because fuck this guy. And a lot of the success I've had in my entrepreneurial journey, I was at the right place at the right time. And I got, I got in balance. And I'm not asking you to get as in balance as me. I, I made sacrifices away from my wife, my kids. I was traveling all the time. I was doing that. But, but I, I kind of went all in. I was like, this is it. And this is worth getting good at. If I get good at this here and I capitalize on the – Momentum, this company's already seeing, and after a few short weeks, what we'll certainly see in the next few months and years ahead, my life can look radically different. So, hope you'll heed those words. Hopefully, it was significant in some way, shape, or form. Uh, no, absolutely not. And uh, they're not unique. It's generic advice. And, again, you – I went all in because you could see, like, the whatever. Yeah, could you see – could you see? I'm sorry if you cannot couldn't hear me because I'm not speaking directly to the microphone. Um, could you see that you could scam people and earn a lot of money? Is that is that what you could see? Is that is that it? Did I get it? Um, so investing that time where you're away from your family, it was worth it because now you're at the top of the scam, right? <laughs> oh, fun, fun family memories. Good, good, good. I, I don't want to see anybody that's hungry and motivated get left behind. I, I don't, but ultimately that's up to you. So, you know, everybody's looking for that ace on their team and in a two by 16 community build, you just need one or two aces and it can generate tons of growth. But you got to look in the mirror and be that ace first, all right? Be the ace in that deck that you pull out first. And the speed of the leader is always going to determine the speed of the pack. Love you all. Appreciate you. Let's get out. Have a great weekend. God bless. God bless America. God bless you vets. God bless all you families that have that, that have uh, service members that made the ultimate sacrifice. Can't say that enough. All right. It's going to be a big, big weekend, and the future is bright. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Can't say that enough. Can't say that enough That because um, I'm actually a fucking douchebag, and um, I'm very insincere, so I need to say it a few times so people actually believe me. I'm not fucking buying it, okay? Oh, I love you. Oh, God bless. I'm like, God bless. Again, if God was real, he would be flipping tables over an MLM. Um, yeah, he would He would not be on your side. Uh, Ray Ray, I see, I see you. I see your book about being a Christian in network marketing. I think, you know, Ray, I am surprised that John, uh, John Maxwell uh, teamed up with you because you, you really stole his bag on that one, you know.
you saw you saw an opportunity that didn't exist. God help me if you can hear this whole this thing through the whole whole video. God damn. I wonder if there's some way I can get rid of that. Um, yeah. Uh, ugh. Um, Ray Ray sucks. And John Maxwell sucks, for sure. I, I saw this, uh, a YouTuber I'd never seen before. And, um, bigger YouTuber, like, had 300k, close to 300k. And she, her title of her video was, like, um, what nobody's talking about in MLMs. And it was, like, using religious manipulation in MLMs. What nobody's talking about. <laughs> People are talking about it. Have you done a search? Did you do any, did you type in a search for anti-MLM? Like, I'm really glad that, that a big, big YouTuber, 300 <clears throat> K plus, 300 K, uh, just under 300 K. Um, but there are a lot of people who do that. And JJ, um, she's a master's in theology. So she's, she's covered it. She's very good at that. Yeah. Gosh. The It Works video that JJ did earlier this week, um, that couple was disgusting. Mini. I think she might be drinking milk. Weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, recommend going to watch Erin's video on Kylie, although I'm sure you already have. Good on you. So good, so good. And, yeah, well, we're going to leave it there, I think. Uh, yeah like the video if you want to and subscribe and uh fuck that guy you know um yeah it's a good synopsis free palestine and um all of the people in the world who are subjugated and treated like they are lower class citizens because we all deserve uh respect and freedom that's it all right i shall See you next time. Okay. Thank you to the Echo Echo members. On the Gremlins level, we've got Rosie Partha Stone, The Eclectic Mima, Lisa Hans, Lynn Wee, Mountain Crystal, Rot Row Rachel, Danny Mastas, Tarika Strudwick, Cal Dakota, and Tanya Elizabeth. On our ghost level, we've got Demi, The Clown Town, and Katie Murph. Thanks, guys. Love you. 